Hey there, everybody. It's time for the August 2023 monthly astrology overview. And in this video, we are going to be going way more in depth as to what is going on with each and every planet because they do operate differently as they move through each and every sign. Now, in order to achieve that, what I have actually gone and done is I have written out everything I'm going to be talking about here, and I'm going to be displaying on the screen each and every time we're talking about a new aspect, what areas of life are going to be coming into focus for each sign. So what parts of everybody's world? Plus, you can also then look at your sun, moon, and rising all at once and only have to watch the one video. Yes, it might not feel as personal to people who believe general readings are personal readings. Um, You know, if I'm not saying the same thing 12 different ways in 12 different chapters or 12 different videos. But it is actually the same thing. So this way you can actually see everything you need to see all at once. And we get to go a lot deeper and give a much more thorough and detailed uh, explanation of what's going on with this month's horoscope. So let me know what you think in the down bar below. Speaking of the down bar below, free readings from me have come to the astrology forecasts and I'm no longer going to be doing them on the weeklies. And so for those of you who were watching the weekly tarot forecasts, you probably know already that every week I would do a drawing. People would enter into a raffle and then I would select a winner to get a free 15 minute video report from me, astrology and tarot. And I've decided that instead of doing it once a week, right, for four weeks, I would do it once a month and announce four winners every single month. And so the way this works is basically I publish this video and you, if you want to enter, all you have to do is be a subscriber and then in the comment in the down bar below indicate that you would like to be entered into the giveaway and then write in your sun sign and your moon sign. Be sure to write sun and write moon because I use a digital comment picker that way it keeps everything nice and random and it's going to be looking for those keywords and for people who are subscribed to this channel and then on the first of the month so in this case the first of September I will be doing the drawing reaching out to the winners announcing them and we can get down to business on having me do a free 15 minute video report for you and so if you would like to take part in that have at it. And for those of you who would like to order a session from me, whether it's a video report or a live phone, Skype, or Zoom session with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So let's talk about August now. What is going on here? August is all about overdue reality releases and replacements. We are all going to be experiencing this at the same time. Overdue because we've also got a great deal of extra energy coming in from this dual Venus and Mercury retrograde we're going to be talking about. We've got Uranus going retrograde this month. We've got two full moons and a new moon. And we've also got a lot of double team activity going on with the planets with the Sun and Venus majority of the time being together in Leo and Mercury and Mars teaming up in Virgo. So at the start of the month, remember to look at your screen to see what's uh, going on with your with the signs you want to look at here. We've got a full moon in Aquarius on the 1st, which is opening up a two-week window period of influence between the 1st and the 15th of the month. Now, a full moon in Aquarius is all about, of course, as we've said before, culminations, progress, transitions, moving forward, endings. But it's always a bit unique uh, with each sign. And a full moon in Aquarius is all about release and liberation from something that has been controlling or limiting one's movements, one's freedoms, one's ability to be able to perform or to maybe attain or achieve a certain goal, aspiration, or desire. With a full moon in this part of your chart, there is going to be the release of not only that influence, but this is going to also be a time where you may also find that another harmful influence in the form of a mirage or an illusion that you may have um, been working with 
working towards or investing in for some time is also going to be revealed for what it is. Now this could be considered kind of distressing, right? We don't necessarily like to have these things get the jump on us, but what's going to happen is that there's also going to be a big overcompensation for the problem as it was because Aquarius is all about, you know, setting us up for success and freeing us from things that have been binding, oppressive or controlling or limiting our movements or keeping us trapped in a box. There's also going to be making up for lost time once all of this, you know, shows itself and releases itself, right? We're going to be basically getting away from a status quo that's been preventing us from being able to have nice things or move forward in this part of our world. And this could also be very old. This could have been something that we that was sort of in place or put in place years ago, established by another person, or maybe even something that you co-created or agreed upon or signed off on that also needs to go for your own good. Maybe something that you're already done with. Well, this is the time for a clean break here. Our next major part of August is this combination of the Sun and Venus retrograde in Leo. And so the Sun is in Leo up until August 23rd. And then we have Venus retrograde in Leo all month long because Venus is retrograde in Leo all the way up until September 3rd. And so it's an odd combination that is going to work here. Now, Venus retrograde, it's no secret, you know, if you know me, it's my least favorite retrograde of all of the retrogrades out there. Um, Venus retrograde can and often does bring out the worst in people and in situations that um, do not know how to conduct themselves. But also at the same time, it can create situations where disharmony, blocks, instability, volatility um, that have been challenging us in this space of our chart or would come and challenge us during this month are going to be made known. Venus retrograde can be a bit of a drama starter. People have a tendency to act out, right? There tends to be a lot of chaos brought up here. But in truth, Venus retrograde is also showing us where we cannot endure something or we need to see what problem starters have been in our lives this whole time, but also at the same time, um, prompting reform or a switch a swift shift or a switch move in a different direction. This can also be a place where we may also have to deal with issues from the past um, that maybe uh, kind of come into our lives on a loop or vicious cycles playing out in this area of our lives. And Venus retrograde, you know, if it was all by itself, would make this part of our month, uh, this part of our lives this month, a complete hell. Luckily, however, we also have the sun here at the same time, which is going to be drastically um, altering this experience. Because the sun is all about purification and healing and eliminating shadows, eliminating problems and, you know, neutralizing the harmful effects of those shadows, cause, core, effect, the people they, they, they come from, whatever. This is going to be a time where you're noticing a lot of these issues are coming up to be challenged and then eliminated. And you may find that also, while this is all happening, the sun is bringing in replacements for everything that's getting um, released from this part of your world and, you know, setting you and everyone who belongs here up with new comforts, adventure, fun, bonding opportunities, new material assets, and new security. After the 23rd, 
the sun moves on into Virgo, where there is this focus on reorganizing our own future, reorienting into a better path. These new blessings, right, of new comforts, lightness, adventure, fun, and material assets and, and value are still coming to us from the sun, but now it's coming out of this part of our chart, which is going through a major improvement process because what the sun is doing here is that it is bringing closer into this part of our charts the people and the, again, the wealth and the fun and the adventure that belong, while still kind of a carryover from earlier in August, replacing and displacing that which has been um, continuously bringing or introducing problems into our lives here. And you may find that with the sun in Virgo, there's also um, a completely new future for this part of your chart getting highlighted and integrated throughout the close of August and going into uh, September. And this could also be changing, you know, not only the direction that we're going, but how we're going about it and, you know, who's allowed to, again, be here. But it's all setting everybody up with the best of the best. Our second twosome of the month is Mars combined with Mercury in Virgo. So this very same place. And so this is going to be a, a, a kind of a weird, tough love takes you to better places, a tough love making massive structural improvements, tough love and fast paced developments elevating everybody to the best of the best all at the same time. It's, it's not a mixed bag, but it's almost like one of those transits where sometimes you're just not going to know how to feel. And that is because Mars in Virgo, it only happens once every two years, is a transit that um, basically takes all of our fantasies, our ideals, and our hopes, right, and gives them an opportunity to take physical form. And Mars is also going to be uh, kind of going through and eliminating all obstacles to that coming forth into being, which can be a really, really good thing, but it can also um, shake up our world a bit, right? It can make things a bit topsy-turvy. Mars is all about action, energy, passion, and hard work, and sometimes constructive conflict at the same time. Mercury is also speeding up developments in this part of your chart so that you're going to be enjoying faster growth, faster maturity here, faster payoffs, faster payouts. And you may also find that um, with Mars and Mercury together as well, um, there is going to be an opportunity for you to make some kind of great leap uh, to replace a status quo or a commitment or um, a connection or a path that you've had here with something that is already aligned or a part of the fantasy that is getting a chance to finally be realized as we go through this month, right? All of the building blocks are coming together and we are getting pushed ever so hard and ever so fast by Mars and Mercury together to go and make that happen. Just be prepared. This is also going to require us to um, move out of a comfort zone that we may have timed our watch to, right? It's not fully satisfying. It's not really, it's not really there. It's not really cutting the mustard, so to speak. Uh, but it is something that that's not challenging to us. It's kind of become a bit of a crutch as far as an experience is concerned. And you might be tempted to kind of sat, quote, satisfy, unquote, or fulfill these fantasies with maybe um, aiming lower, compromising, uh, accepting or looking for cheap substitutes or false alternatives or diversions. Mars and Mercury will not let that happen. Um, that will crumble. So you might as well lean in and see what all of this ruckus is about and what it's hooking you up with. When Mercury is retrograde, this is also going to be a time uh, from the 23rd up through the uh, 15th of September 
where you're going to be getting a chance to um, have a lot of revisions, reversals, retrievals, and also give you some undos that you might want to push. Mid-month, we have a new moon in Leo on August 16th. And so this is going to be a time of a new beginning, a fresh start, right? Starting the day of the new moon and for the two weeks following, you will find that this part of your life is beginning that fresh start. New beginnings are the primary focus of new moons after all. And um, you may find that both new pursuits you initiate yourself as well as opportunities brought to you are starting to take hold, but they will require a commitment and an engagement from you or a new kind of engagement from you in order to blossom and flourish. Make sure to mind uh, seeds planted in this part of your chart during this period as they will need a lot of care and attention from all involved, including you, right? We got to participate in the astrology. We're not sitting out and you know, waiting for uh, manna from heaven to drop from on high, we have to participate. This will likely become a valuable commitment that will have an uplifting ripple effect as well on other areas of your life. We've got a very important development also occurring with Uranus turning retrograde in Taurus on the 28th. And this is going to shape up not just the end of August or beginning of September, but this is governing the rest of 2023, as Uranus will be retrograde in Taurus all the way up until January 2024. And so this part of our lives is going to be going through kind of a mixed bag experience, right? Outer planets, all of them, such as Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Saturn, and so on, tend to bring um, that mixed bag experience. It's all very subjective. It's all situation dependent. I find that Uranus retrograde is more often advantageous than not, though, because when we have Uranus go retrograde, uh, whatever part of its the, our chart it's occurring in, as well as the rest, right, it's kind of a global influence, too, so we're all feeling this everywhere, um, you're going to find that... Um, life is going to go through a bit of a sheltering period, right? The planet of revelation, inspiration, spontaneity, randomness, and even discord and chaos to a certain degree is relaxing its influence here, and things are a lot more chill. This can be really, really good, especially in situations where delicate pursuits or projects or situations um, that you would like to see grow and develop need space from external influences in order for that to happen, right? It's kind of like a new plant or a new tree, or for that matter, a new job or a new connection or a new relationship, right? They need to be safe from chaotic, unstable, wild card, unpredictable influences in the beginning so that they can grow to be strong and resilient. And that's what Uranus retrograde affords us the opportunity to have. However, for some, this can be seen as a boring time, or it might be a trying time, especially if uh, somebody might be dependent on that kind of external wildness to sort of give them something to do, or um, incite events, or shake up one's world, or, or to get the ball moving somewhere. And all I gotta say, if that's the case for you, this can be a time of rest from external chaos or a time of boredom and despair and stagnation. But if you want change in your life during this period, it will need to be self-initiated. Personal responsibility, personal initiative, independent motivation, and creativity are key and are being put to the test for the rest of 2023 if you really want things to get uh, shook up uh, in this part of your life, okay? Finally, we've got our full blue super moon to talk about uh, that's happening on the 30th as we end August and go on into September. And so a full blue super moon in Pisces is quite intense. It carries all of the normal attributes of a regular full moon, right? So we are seeing um, focuses on progress, culminations, transitions, and endings, which is great. But there's also this added piece that comes from it. Um, Piscean full moons especially can kind of uh, bring about life direction changing events or life direction changing developments that will force us to shed a part of 
um, ourselves or something in our lives that's kind of been identity divining, uh, defining in some way, but that has also been unnatural to us. And switching it out for what is a perfect fit. An old life is ending during this period, both personally and environmentally. However, this is an important threshold that we are also crossing uh, because it's going to bring into full view and experience one of our heart's truest desires, what it's made of, and also deliver us to it and also teach us how to nurture it once we have attained it. So that is what I have got for you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. You better be subscribed if you want to leave a comment to get entered into the uh, free giveaway contest. And if you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on head to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.